Hello everyone, this is Leonard de Visser. I'm an intern with the Association for Foreign Political Action. And today we'll be speaking with Member of Parliament Joy Smith about human trafficking. Mr. Smith, thank you for talking with us today. Um, so just for starters, what exactly is human trafficking? Human trafficking is modern day slavery. It's the buying and sell, selling mostly of young people mostly of people under 18 years of age, in their early 20s too, but the predators go after the ones under 18. Why do you think human trafficking is such a big problem in our society and in the world today? I think it's such a problem because the general public believes that prostitution is an industry. I've heard people say that it's Canada's oldest profession. It's not a profession, it's a crime. It's a crime against victims. And, you know, there's certain um, people uh, who have produced movies, like Pretty Woman, uh, that have glamorized prostitution. But the majority of the girls who are used and abused um, are forced into it. And once they get into it, like this one girl I was working with, um, the girl I was telling you about earlier, once she serviced one man, she was so ashamed. And so the predators were saying, we're going to tell your school, we're going to tell your community, we're going to tell your parents. And she was so ashamed, she didn't realize that she was being manipulated and she was a victim of a a horrendous crime, and that these people were making an awful lot of money out of her misery. That's human trafficking. That's when people are controlled. In this country, some of the girls are even branded. I had one victim, uh, they had branded all the girls. We had to remove the brands off their necks. It's like cattle. You know, you, you own a cow, you brand them, it belongs to your ranch. This is a living, breathing, beautiful human being with a soul. Okay. Uh, Mrs. Smith, you spoke about one of your bills, and you've done a lot of work to stop human trafficking in Canada. What is some of the work you have done and you are doing to stop human trafficking in Canada? I put two bills forward. The first bill was Bill 268, mandatory minimums for traffickers of, of children 18 years and under. And that gives anybody who buys and sells a child, or forced labor, it deals with both. Uh, but anyone who traffics someone under 18 years of age will be given five to six years mandatory jail time. Now when I first started out I was very naive and I wanted 97 years but that didn't work. I was told I would get a court challenge and that's not good. So what I did was uh, put the um, five to six years and it passed. So I think that was really the help of the good Lord uh, to maneuver it through the minefields of Parliament and Senate to get it part of the criminal code. It's part of the criminal code today. The second bill was Bill C-310. And I found out that a lot of predators were getting off in the court system because the victims initially were not afraid because the predators came on as their friends. So I changed the definition, I expanded the definition of human trafficking, and then I gave the court some specific tools, like deception, manipulation, all those tools. So when a victim went into a court, they didn't have to prove that they were afraid right at the onset. It also reached the long arm of the Canadian law to other countries when permanent residents of our country or Canadian citizens went to other countries to exploit or traffic people, we could bring them back to Canada to try them. Because often predators would go to other countries because the judicial systems were weaker, the, the, uh, the police forces were weaker, and so they could get away with this predatory crime. I can see a lot of our youth today who, they really know about this. Like they, and what they don't know, they suspect. They're pretty smart. And I've seen the next generation 
of people, of young people, now who refuse to let this happen in our country. I, I have so much support from the youth across this country. It's amazing. And the youth means people like yourself, uh, people who are finishing their education, going into the workforce, and want to make Canada a better country. But over and above that, they want to walk their faith. And God says, we can do, the Bible says, we can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthen us, strengthens us. He also says, all things whatsoever we ask in prayer, believing it shall be given us. And we have to take the Holy Spirit and ask, you know, what can we do to stop human trafficking? How can we become involved in that? Pray for our country, pray for the victims of human trafficking, pray for the predators. Because somewhere along the line, everyone has got off track on this. Women are not there to use and abuse. Young boys are not there to use and abuse. They're to be honored, they're to live with dignity, they're to live in safety, and they're to grow and prosper. That's what our country is all about. So as a Christian community, we are all a part of making this happen. It's a daily walk.